Welcome back everyone. I thought it would be pretty cool to go over a few things with Adobe Spark. Previously, I created a couple of videos on how to create a logo and videos in Adobe Spark. In today's video, we will create a flyer in a few minutes for free. With Adobe Spark, we can quickly create flyers. You don't need a design degree or a background. Keep in mind, creativity is a process that can be learned and implemented. It can be imaginative and your gut feelings bring it all together. Do you need to create a flyer, a brochure, how about a poster or an ad? Being a graphic designer helps to know how to lay the images, artwork, using colors and topography. Over the years, I've seen some great designs and well, some questionable ones. Many businesses will get a staff member to create these marketing materials and some have no clue how to approach this. Mark yourself word? No, that's for the office stuff, not for design. Let's be honest with you. Do these inspire you? And now the same concept, but designed in a way that evokes emotion or feeling. The minimalistic design principle is a great way to keep the necessary information and remove unnecessary artwork, content, and colors. We can either log into your Adobe Spark account or link one of your accounts to get started. I will log into my fake account on Adobe Spark so that you will see what I see with a free version. After logging in, you should see your welcome screen here. This is your home page. Click on View All and give you the most popular templates to different ideas of templates. I'm going to click on Flyer in Poplar. While Adobe Spark is loading all the different flyers, what it does is it creates a project under a section called My Posts. In the search field, you can expand the search by adding whatever you may be working on. For example, maybe a business reopening, and it will load templates relating to those words. Or let's say you want to do a flyer for dog services, and you will see a different set of examples for that. You can scroll down to see close to 20 and a half examples of dog services. Let's go ahead and pick one. What happens next, a pop-up window will open. Click on create to grab this new template. Here, you can easily change the text, prices, company name, and add your contact information. I will show you the text styles first, as this will have more options available, but it will give you a broad view of what Adobe Spark can offer. Click on the text once, and you should see an interface for text styles on the right-hand side. You have the option to select your primary or secondary text. Wherever you look, you have the opportunity to add your brand to the design. Unless you want to pay to upgrade Adobe Spark to add your logo, I suggest adding the logos as an image instead. You can change the type of fonts. You can also change the text alignment from left, center, or right justification, or make it all cap. You can change the font of sizes. You can also change the letter spacing, the space between each letter. Line spacing, in design terms, this is called letting. The space between sentences or adjacent lines of type. Opacity is how much light you want to show through a text or an object. And of course, order is which is layers do you want on top or on the bottom. Anytime you want to change a color, image, or text, use your mouse or trackback to select your item. And the side interface will adjust accordingly. You can change the color of the text and objects. You can add a shape to your text. For example, if I want to add a circle to this text, it will create a circle for me. Or I can change it to be a hexagon on the fly. Or you can also go backwards and have no shape. Adding special effects to your text is a snap. I'll be honest here with you, adding the text effects could make it harder to read. So go easy on this one. The cool thing with Adobe Spark is that you can style to your text and spin the dial to a suggestion of text with special effects, shapes, and size. Let's click on the image now. You have the option to scale the image smaller or bigger or rotate the image. Flip it horizontally or vertically. You can either move the image freely or pin it to the background. By pin it to the background, means it will be flush against the edges of your template. The next option is pretty cool because Adobe Spark will allow you to move the background. Depending on the image itself, some will be better than others. So in this case, the scenery behind the dog is gone. And if you want to replace the photo with a different picture, you can use copyright free images, Pixabay or Unsplash, or use one of your own. Within the images panel, you can use filters by changing the color modes to different blend modes and adjustments. Like everything, you have an undo and a redo at the top of the page. The trash can is for deleting. If you are in an image, click on the eye. It will give you information about the picture. Click on the picture icon will allow you to replace the image as well. If you see the plus sign in a box, this will enable you to duplicate an item. You can also resize the text by selecting that solid white circle here. And the middle icon here allows you to rotate the item.
If you double click on the text, you can change your text. Hit return to add a new line. Shift return to confirm or click on done. If you double click on an icon or a symbol, you can place one within Adobe Spark. Do you see the Adobe Spark logo in the template? Don't worry, that won't show up in your flyer. Like to share this with somebody? Click on the icon beside download on the left hand side or click on share and scroll down to select share. If you want to post this flyer on Facebook or any other social media platform, click on publish. And if you're going to print this out, click on download. If this were for print, I would suggest a PDF as a quad would be better than say a PNG or JPEG. And the best part is you create a flyer that looks better than say Microsoft Word and it was for free. One word of advice, remember to try to keep the design simple. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.